Rob, what is our first main topic today? John, our first topic comes to us from Jaren Madanen, all the way from Finland. Uh, love your show. So I read today from Variety that Westworld, along with Nevers, Minx, and the others, were not only canceled, but are going to be removed from the service. Now, I can understand canceling these shows, but why remove them from HBO Max? While I don't love Westworld, I've enjoyed it, and I was hoping at some point it was the latest season, too. Variety article says that it's due to them now wanting to pay residual payments or not wanting to pay residual payments from these shows. I don't understand how the residual payments work. Could you explain this to me, and is this because of ad-supported tiers? All right, Yuri, thanks a lot for sending that in. And, yeah, now we a lot of people were surprised. I wasn't really all that surprised personally, but a lot of people were very surprised to find out that Westworld got canceled. Minx got canceled when they found out they got canceled just as they wrapped product shooting, at least, um, season two. They found out they got canceled. Not surprisingly, the Nevers got canceled. Uh, that was the um, Joss Whedon-backed one. A show I really liked. It was pretty good. Until the final episode and a half. Yeah, yeah. I, I was really into that show. I loved the characters. I loved the premise and the setting and the time period. I loved it. And then it got into the last episode and a half when they revealed what the big twist is. And I'm like... This is stupid. And I just, I'm like, I'm not going to watch the season two anyway because the twist was so bad. But still, so that got canceled and others. Well, now comes word. Uh, this is the report here that you can you see up here now. The report has come in. No, the actual story there, Jonathan, oh, if you want gotcha, to read the story. Gotcha. The story has now come out that they have actually not just canceled these shows. They're pulling them off HBO Max. They're, they're not just not going to continue they ain't going to continue being on HBO Max, which I get and I understand to a lot of people. It's like, well, wait, wait, why? Lots of shows get canceled on Netflix and they stay on Netflix, at least for a period of time. Lots of shows get canceled here and there, but they stay on those streaming services. Well, now this comes to us uh, from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. The two shows talking about the Nevers and talking about Westworld. The two shows are among multiple series that are being cut down, are being cut from the Warner Brothers Discovery owned streaming offerings, along with Minx, which had already been renewed for season two, and Love Life, which had not yet been picked up for season three, both of which, unlike the Nevers in Westworld, were actually HBO Max originals. Sources close to the situation say it's possible that they uh, that the already finished batch of the Nevers episodes will air on another platform sometime. The removal of shows from HBO Max means WB Discovery is able to save money in residuals paid to cast and crews of productions on top of the money that they save by not continuing on with the shows at all. All right. So that comes to us from Variety. Here's the thing. We all understand that it costs money to make shows and movies. It costs money. What we sometimes forget, me included, is that the money you got to pay out doesn't stop when the movies are made and when the TV shows are being finished the money you have to pay continues through residuals and through individual light. Now in the old TV model, you know, they're like the friends cast, the cast of friends, they never have to work a day in their lives. They're still making millions a year from the residuals and replays of friends, wherever it plays on streaming or in traditional uh, terrestrial television stuff, tons and tons of money. Now the streaming stuff's a little bit different, but in the deals with streaming, they just say, Hey, as long as this thing's up, some of the deals are as long as this thing's up, you got to pay for every renewal period that it stays up on the stream. You got to pay. You got to pay the producers. You got to pay the production. You got to pay the cast. You got to pay anybody who's got back end points on it. As long as it's just sitting there and up there, you continue to have to pay. Now, I'm going to go back to my AMC days here. I'm trying to think of a, of a show that maybe we can't. Nightmares. We had a horror show called Nightmares, right? So we were doing a horror-related show for a while called Nightmares, and it was a good show. It was a good show, but it didn't get an audience. We weren't the amount of time and money we were putting in, and man hours, and studio time, and whatever, and and, the, and paying the the people who were on it. We were just not getting the viewership numbers to continue it. So we had to make the decision to cancel it. Now, of course, once we canceled the show, we still kept the episodes that we had up on the YouTube channel. Sure, of course we did. You know why? Because it wasn't costing us anything to keep it up on the channel. It wasn't costing us anything. 
if I found out, like if Schnepp had come to me, Schnepp was one of the guys on Nightmares. If Schnepp had come to me and said, you got to pay me $300 every month that you keep those videos up online, guess what I would have done? I would have deleted those videos off the YouTube channel. That's exactly what I would have done. And in this case, you know, it looks like, according to Variety here, that, you know, HBO is just looking at it and say, look, we don't believe there's going to be a, a motivation for people to sign up or stay signed up for HBO so they can watch Westworld anymore or Minx, whatever. But we do know, looking at the books and the deals that the previous ownership made, that if we do keep it on HBO Max, it's going to cost us X amount of dollars just to have it sitting there. We don't need to spend that money. Now, here's the other interesting thing. The article points out that like, okay, so the second half of the season of Nevers, which is already shot, they very well could now license it out to another streaming platform. What happened when Lucifer got canceled? Netflix came in and said, we'll pick it up, right? Nevers can be picked up somewhere else. I mean, they can now take that library of Westworld and maybe a, uh, a Paramount Plus, maybe a Peacock. Uh, maybe another streaming service comes along and says, hey, we'll pick up that library. Or maybe Netflix says, you know, we'd love to add the Westworld to the library. On it, and they'll pay for it and make money off it and all that kind of stuff. So I I get it on the surface. It's like, well, wait a minute. The show's already done. You already paid for it. Why not just keep it on the, the platform? I get that. But what you and I don't know is the specifics of the individual deals with each individual show and how much it actually costs to keep it on the platform. And if that's the case, and they said, you know what, it's not worth our, it's not worth this much money to us to keep it on the platform. Let's let it go. I get it. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you get another three months for free. Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know I've been using Mint Mobile long before this holiday deal and I have to say it is the perfect time to switch. I have absolutely loved using Mint Mobile and like I've told you guys many times, I am now spending less than one third of what I used to spend under one of the other major mobile carriers. And now with the whole buy three months, get three months free deal, it's it's even better. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. Or if you need a new device, for a limited time, get six months of free service when you buy a select device and plan. So guys, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Anyway, Rob, you've heard about the, you've directed, not only have you directed major motion pictures with like William Shatner, you've also directed, te you've One. also directed television series. <clears throat> yep. That's an HBO Cinemax series. Right. So you're, you are familiar with the world of residual. Now this was before the streaming platforms and everything, right. but but when you hear about the story, did it make sense to you or was it still a little bit confounding? No, I mean, it, it, it makes it makes sense. I mean, it's funny. I had an, uh, a text from our friend Connie, Connie Sang, and she wrote back. She goes, you know, I was going to start watching season four on HBO. I guess I'm not. I'll buy the physical media. <laughs> you know, so there are other revenue streams for these shows. But like you said, um, um, the amount of money, I mean, just leaving something, they look at the cost-benefit analysis. It's like, okay, can we make more money by leaving it up or are we going to have more money leaving our coffers by leaving it up? It's an academic, it's, there's the number. And, and I'm sure that it's scary to see that a handsomely produced show that was not cheap to make. I mean, they spent, was it 10, 15 million an episode on that show? No, I'm not, I'm not even sure how much it's probably very time. expensive show just disappears. I mean, four seasons of it, you'd think that it would have value, but I guess it doesn't. And this is going to happen more and more, John, in the streaming world. I mean, they're not just going to put everything up. They can't afford to do it. And that's why the streamers, that's why you look and say, oh, well, Disney Plus lost $4 billion last year in streaming. So it's not just a, you can't just print money. You have to think about, like with everything else, you have to look at the economics. I mean, all of Hollywood, it ain't show friends, it's show business. And if the economics don't work, and you know who the first person to do that is? David Zaslav. Mm -hmm. He's the first guy that's going to take his axe and swing it. I mean, I would I, the people that are involved in making this show, I would have thought you'd want to keep happy, but 
only as much as it's not going to affect your bottom line. Yeah, and like, and here's the thing too. Like all, it's like magic. There's a balance in the universe. If by cutting, taking shows like Nevers, that not a lot of people were watching. If you're taking shows like Westworld, which we talked about in the Hollywood Reporter article, their viewership dropped plummeted. off a cliff. Their viewership plummeted. If taking those shows off means that they can use that money to give us shows like The Last of Us and give us shows like House of the Dragon, and like if they can say, look, we only have so much money, so we can either make these kinds of shows or we can keep shows nobody's watching on our network. Eh, well, I, I choose Last of Us. I, it's true. I mean, they have to start thinking like, well, that's what network television did. Yeah. If something didn't work, it's gone. Um, and it has nothing to do, like Jer asked about an ad tier. It's not about the ad tier. It's about the fact that does it make sense to keep this show on our channel, period. You can't, an ad tier is not, it might add a little bit more value, but not enough value. Yeah. So Anyway, we'll see, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about the move? Not only they canceled Westworld, which we talked about several weeks ago, but now they're just removing it altogether from the platform because they don't want to keep paying the residuals on it. How do you guys think about this? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.